Hi, I'm Mr Lees, I'm the Company Director for Arts, which is Maths and Computing. Um, and I'm going to talk to you about revision strategies for Maths, BTEC, ICT and Computer Science. Um, beginning with Maths, um, we have three papers in Mathematics. Paper 1 is non-calculator, Paper 2 and 3 are calculator skills. Um, their provisional dates are the 19th of May, for the 8th of June and the 15th of June. Uh, we recommend that revision is done in small chunks, 30 minutes at a time, probably four or five times a week. Um, that is much more effective than last minute cramming. Uh, we recommend that you use practice uh, papers and past papers to focus your revision on the exam style questions that will better prepare you for the rigours of the exam. We will be providing a lot of past papers um, as we get closer towards the date after Christmas. Um, but within the exam, you, the student should attempt all questions. Um, even if they can't pick up all the marks, they may pick up one or two method marks at the start and it makes a huge difference at the end of the paper if you've done that over a few questions. Um, and then finally we recommend everybody should check every calculation thoroughly with a calculator on papers two and three or just manually on paper one to make sure they haven't made any trivial errors where they've just added or multiplied incorrectly. Um, we've got some fantastic resources that we'd recommend to support the learning. The number one main resource is Hegarty Maths. Um, you'll find the link on the website and uh, in the links below. Um, Hegarty Maths is uh, a collection of around a thousand videos and tasks um, being produced by an award-winning maths teacher um, that are really, really high quality. You'll also find a lot of homeworks are set on Hegarty Maths because it is such a strong and powerful resource. In addition to Hegarty Maths, there is Corbett Maths, which offers videos and practice skills and practice questions in the exam style. GCSE Pod, which the school has a subscription to, and BBC Bite Size, uh, which is available on the internet. Um, moving on to the BTEC Digital Information Technology. Um, there are three components, of which one is an exam component. There are two coursework units, which the instructions will be given by their teachers within lessons. Um, the exam date is currently provisionally set for the 2nd of February uh, with an opportunity to resit on the 11th of May if the results aren't as they wanted. Um, online support for the BTEC Digital Information Technology is at teachict.com, uh, classroom.google.com and also BBC Bite Sites. Um, these resources will make a huge difference if they're used regularly with the revision. And finally, there's the Computer Science GCSE. Um, this is three components, um, of which there are two exams, each making up 50% of the overall grade. There's also a 20 hour, 20 hour project, um, which does not count towards the final grade but must be completed or a grade won't be awarded at all. Uh, that's a 20 hour project. The dates of the exam are currently provisionally set for the 14th of May and the 21st of May. Uh, independent study, uh, we recommend BBC Bite Size again, Khan Academy and www.codeacademy.com. That will be particularly useful for the project. Um, there's also seneco.com, the details of which will be listed below. Um, just to reiterate, we'd recommend revision in small doses uh, for 20 to 30 minutes at a time regularly, multiple times a week. Uh, if you have any other questions, please contact me uh, at the school, on the school number or through the school's website. It's Mr Leeds. Thank you.